Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. This one is brought to you by EA Game Changers who made this possible by giving me early access to the Sims 4 Discover University at Sims Camp, which is awesome. So I was able to build, well, not really build, I would say modify one of the existing dorm lots in the University of Brychester. So they all come as a single level uh, dorm. So there's two of them here in Brychester both single level, pretty similar. There's a few differences between the two, but I thought, you know what, we don't have enough room. So I'm gonna modify this one to be pretty similar, you know, in style and look and feel as the original one. Cause I do like the, I actually really like the dorm lots. I think they're pretty damn good. Uh, so I was like, I wanna go with that same feel, but I wanna make it bigger and add a few more things because Interestingly, one of the things that they're lacking is actually they don't have any kitchens or like cafeterias because uh, of reasons I'm not, I, I, well, I mean, they have like the commons. There's a, there's a lot uh, in the university called the commons, which has like a cafeteria and food and all that. But I was like, man, it'd be a lot easier to just have a cafeteria in the dorm lot. And there wasn't really room with the existing design. So what I've done instead is just add a second level, put all the dorm rooms on the top level. And on the lower level, we're going to be adding in uh, all of the common and public spaces that way. So again, like I said, I'm doing pretty much the same design, just adding a bit more space. Uh, which I'm pretty excited about because it actually works out really, really well. Uh, so I actually end up adding in a cafeteria and then we have like a common room. We have like a study, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but first we have to sort of empty out the existing one because we got all this stuff down here that we don't need. You can see all that kind of stuff down there. Now, the cool thing about dorms is you can actually build them on any lot. It doesn't have to be the lots here in the actual university. You could have dorms, I believe anywhere in the game i'm pretty sure i don't know maybe i shouldn't say that i think you can because it's just a lot type so i think you can do it anywhere but yeah the cool thing about them is they're super easy to edit and they will automatically like populate and fill up with other roommates they'll just come and join in i think they said the maximum of other sims is like 10 so I think we might have a few extra beds here, but I think that's okay. You know, it's all good. So upstairs, we are sort of sorting stuff out. Well, actually, I'm kind of just demolishing the lot as I go through because I wasn't quite sure at this point how I was going to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just attack it as I go. You know, I'll build each room as I come and see how it all fits together. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping the really boring, oh, the really boring uh, color scheme of like the brown and beige, but sort of, you know, adding a few more little clutter items here and there and making it a little bit more detailed in certain areas. Uh, so the lower section, you can see here, they actually originally had like the showers and all that. And I was like, well, there's not really much point having showers on the, like the lower floor of the dorm if all the rooms are upstairs. So I decided to like reduce the size of the bathroom. We kept the bathroom. So, and they're now like joined directly off the cafeteria, which I figured makes sense. If you need to go to the bathroom, it's right there. We've also added in a sink and all that. Now, one thing about dorm lots is there's actually a couple of forbidden items and I believe I can't remember, actually can't remember what the second forbidden item is, but one of them is you actually can't have stoves, which is a little bit of a shame because I kind of wanted to have like a little kitchenette or like a little area that, that Sims could go and cook their own meals and all of that. But instead, uh, they do have this item, the sort of cafeteria or like buffet item or whatever. I think it's like Bon Appetit or something or whatever it's called, the uh, buffet table thing. Uh, so you can actually place that, that you cannot use that to cook food though. So your Sims cannot go and interact with that. Uh, but a vendor or like a, a chef just shows up automatically to the dorm and they will provide the food. So it's kind of fancy. I mean, it's pretty damn fancy for a dorm, but I guess this university is fancy anyway. So I guess whatever. <laughs> so that, that person will just show up and then you can get food that way. So at least you do not have to uh, load through to another lot because that was something I found kind of annoying while I was playing is like having to go through a loading screen just to get food. There are other ways, of course, you can. I think there's occasionally food stalls downstairs that you can get something at or you can go to the uh, university shopping stall. There's like, there's like a little object in the world that's like a vending machine and from there is where you can buy like a mini fridge and a microwave and you can put those together to obviously make quick meals. But if you have too many quick meals in a row, your sim gets a negative moodlet that they want some real food. So at the end of the day, I figured it was just easier to have a cafeteria at the dorm rather than having to go through a loading screen. So that's what I did. <laughs> that's why I sort of changed this up a little bit to accommodate that. Uh, so that is the cafeteria area done there. I was also trying to keep this lot pretty open, like, you know, enough room for sims to walk around in just because there are, if there's going to be 10 NPCs living in this lot, and not only that, other sims just come around too because it is a dorm. There's just occasionally other sims that come and visit, you know? 
So there's going to be a lot of people around the place. So I was trying to keep it a little bit bigger, a little bit more open. And then also this, so this is the common room area. I figured I kind of wanted to just plonk a bunch of couches in here. Like they've just shoved them in there. And you can see they're not in a really neat way at all. It's kind of just all shoved in together. Uh, so that's kind of what I did there. We got those sort of pallet coffee table and all that. Just a couple of pallets like plonked together. You know, I was trying to make it a little bit of a mess, really. Just everything's just sort of shoved in there how they see fit you know they can't really afford to get anything nice <laughs> so that's how it is actually the other thing is because there's no there's no like actual fraternity or sorority in this game um i think the cool thing is though obviously if you just set up one of those things as a dorm i mean i guess it wouldn't really be a fraternity or sorority if you started getting random sims but you could do it that way anyway so if you if you did that or the other way you could do it is now with uh discover university you can actually have roommates so you can like have people pay rent to you so you could set up a house that way and just have people come in that way you can kind of build that stuff um but yeah or you just set up as a dorm so you could do stuff like that which is kind of cool uh and i think that, i think there's a lot of options for housing now which is is pretty cool like i, I think this university pack is probably one of the more free ones in terms of what we can do with it in terms of housing and i guess the fact that you don't have to be in the university world to go to university you could live somewhere else and just go to it and you can also just as a regular sim visit university if you want to you can you don't have to actually be in it which i'm pretty excited about because i think i spoke about that in my uh reaction to the trailer i think i said something like along the lines of it'd be cool to be able to just visit it because that's kind of how university is in real life you don't actually have to go to university to just like show up on campus so that's pretty cool i think that that's really nice how that's all done um anyway so this area oh yeah we had all these kind of weird little spaces um the other thing is i didn't want to do too much on this lot in terms of like i didn't want to give you every single item that you need to do everything because then it's like you never leave i mean i kind of did as much as we needed to here i also didn't want to do anything too expensive like i was trying not to go overboard i was giving them basically like a little library or this is like a little study room so this is the, the study room the next to it i actually do like a little library it's a pretty damn nice dorm to be fair like given the fact that i was it's still kind of not the nicest looking it's pretty nice like <laughs> got a bunch of nice items like it's got kind of everything you need and you've all got your own rooms oh actually no most of the rooms are shared i think there's one room that has a single bed in it and then you get your own room there but most of them are all shared um and I, you can see like in this i was kind of trying to make everything a little off kilter you know a lot of the items are slightly rotated or kind of shoved like differently or uh, kind of just put away somehow just because i was kind of feeling like you know it's university they're just kind of shoving items all over the place and uh wherever they go that's how it's going to end up so you know, it's kind of always a little bit crooked. Uh, but for the most part, like, I think I'm pretty excited by this dorm. And I'll probably use this in my game. Um, <laughs> that sounds kind of... <laughs> <laughs> sounds kind of bad because i mean I, I built it myself uh but yeah no i'm pretty excited about it because it it still fits very much in with the style of everything because oh actually the cool thing about actually the other cool thing uh i was just about to say is because this well this lot because it is on top of um it's, it's basically like a penthouse lot from city living uh so it's kind of uh it, it works pretty much exactly the same way as that it's just like a big lot on top of a building uh, so you can build four levels on top and uh, you can't do any basement levels, but you can do four levels upward. Uh, and I think that's really cool. And you can just change the lot type to something else. So if you didn't want this to be a dorm, you could change it to a house. You could just live here if you wanted to. I mean, it'd be kind of weird, but you could, or you could change it into like, I guess like a club. I don't know. Like you could do whatever you wanted up here. And I, I actually really, really like that. Like, it can just be changed into whatever. So I think that, that in particular is really cool because there's no limit on what we can do with these lots. It's not like locked down. There's nothing like that. Pretty much the only buildings in the university area that need to be there are like the ones that are just rabbit holes. So I think you can change every lot that's there to something completely different. Like you could just change it into a regular neighborhood that happens to have a university in it, which is, I mean, would be weird. I probably won't do that. But I really like that idea that it's way more open. Yeah, so this is our little library, a little study uh, area. So you can go in there, read some books, but I also set up the sort of debate podium so you can go in there and practice debate or, you know, debate against other Sims just there. And then I set up like a few, like those little study tables that I put there are kind of sitting there so you could sit and watch. Uh, obviously just, you know, I, I don't know that they, how well they kind of sit and watch. Um, 
maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's sort of it's sort of designed that way that you could go in there and study in the room, but also, you know, watch or cheer on the debate or whatever. And then this room is kind of more of a lab or like an office. Uh, it's just got the uh, robotics table, robotics table, robotics station, where you obviously build all the robot parts. And then we've got a few counters here. And actually, that oh, those room dividers that I just put in. Uh, the black ones. I didn't mention them in my build by overview. Damn it. I knew there was something I forgot. I always forget like one thing and that's it apparently. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, so we've got a couple of the research computers in here. You may have noticed I, I actually put some regular computers in the study room. So these ones have the research computers over here. So, uh, you know, what? it might actually be a better idea to swap that around. Put the regular computers here and the study computers in the study room. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> that's how I did it. Uh, yeah, so I was just kind of setting up a little... Uh, little lab nook at the back there with like a mini fridge and all that because I thought maybe you could have like little uh, samples or you know that kind of stuff like in the fridge uh, that was kind of the idea anyway so that's pretty much the downstairs so we're gonna move up now and the layout upstairs is pretty simple it's pretty much what the original dorm was just upstairs and uh that's kind of it. I, I guess I could have even just moved, like, copied and pasted the rooms upstairs. But I, I you know, I really wanted to just redo it anyway. Uh, but all the all the dorm rooms, really simple. The same idea as the actual, you know, the, the way they actually built them as well. In the sense that I'm building them all with pretty much the same furniture. So it comes with, you know, your bed and your dresser and your desk. You sort of get those items uh, just included. And then they're pretty blank beyond that. There's a few posters and things that I do around the place. But the idea is, as you move into the dorm, you sort of decorate it yourself with some posters and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's the idea there. And then I was doing the similar sort of showers that we had downstairs where they had like the blue little stalls. I don't think they were that blue. It was definitely different, but this is how I do it now. So, you know. Oh, I thought it was also a cool uh, idea to do this. I think who who told me to do this? I think it was Deli. I think Deli told me. She's like, are you going to put curtains on those showers? And I was like, no, they didn't have them. And then I was like, you know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. Let's do that. Uh, so I did that. <laughs> so I was like, that's kind of cool. It's kind of fun, you know. <laughs> so it's like a shower curtain there. A little bit more privacy. They don't they don't need it for those showers, of course. They'll just use them anyway. But you can see there, I was even doing the same uh, counters and sinks and mirrors and all that for the, the, the bathroom here. So we've got the bathroom block in the middle. Uh, pretty much the exact same spot as the one downstairs. It's just moved up. And then we just have a you know hallway that loops around. And that's kind of the upstairs and all the dorms are on the outside. Because uh, I thought that was already a really good layout and it actually works quite well. And I think I add an extra dorm over here because I wanted to do a single bedroom dorm. Uh, but they're all pretty big. Like, there's, there's a lot of room in all of these things. Uh, having said that, the way I did the layouts probably wasn't the best. I I could have made them a little bit more... Uh, uh, I, I think if I push the wall back, because you can see it, you know, if I, I line up the wall with the indent of the main building... That would have been a little bit smaller. It probably would have worked a bit better. But, I mean, this still still works out quite well. And I, I really love how the system works. I'm actually pretty impressed that... <laughs> I'm pretty impressed that, you know, it's not as, bu like, buggy as I would imagine it would be for, like, Sims to automatically come and live in here. Like, if you build a room and there's a bed, they will just be like, okay, that's my room now. Thanks. It works. It, it does. And I'm, ha I'm so happy with it. <laughs> I'm so happy that it works that way. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the actual maximum number of sims in the dorm is. I know that they said you can have up to 10 roommates. And like and that will be roommates not in a dorm lot. So I assume that sort of limit kind of applies to a dorm. So I assume there'll be 10 up to 10 NPCs maybe. But I don't know if that's like up to 10. Like if your family is 8, maybe it only adds 2. I, I don't know. I, I, it'd be good to know what that limit is. Anyway, so each of the rooms here, you can see I'm just sort of just doing some basic uh, furnishings. Uh, pretty much desks, beds, um, room dividers for each of the, the two people living in there. The room dividers are uh, also very transparent. It's kind of... It was an interesting item, actually. It's a shame I didn't get to talk about it in my build by overview because I forgot. Uh, I don't know. I was kind of interested by that room divider because it's like transparent um and it doesn't it almost doesn't seem to fit the other stuff i don't maybe it does i guess it's probably it i guess it does i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but i used it everywhere because like that's what they used in their dorms uh in the pre-built ones so i was like i might as well just use the same sort of thing oh this guy here this was this was uh dr gluon's idea because we're in the university of brychester but we're like let's have one guy that's super upset about being here and he really wanted to go to foxbury so he just decorates everything as foxbury so that's the foxbury bed if you're trying to get into brychester but you didn't get it uh you can go stay in that bed there because that's yours <laughs> 
<laughs> so I thought that was quite funny we did that uh and then yeah it's just like really like I said pretty much the same furnishings in each of these rooms but of course I'm doing them in different layouts because obviously the idea is that, you know students would have come in they've sort of moved stuff around how they want them uh, this one was kind of interesting. I don't know why students would ever do this. It certainly wasn't me. They did it, okay? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so they did. And all these items sort of just uh, pretty, pretty nice, actually. Like, surprisingly, I really like the look of all of this stuff just being the same. I don't know. I, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, once we get to the end of this uh, sort of speed build portion, we'll jump into the game. And we can have a closer look. We can even go into live mode and see how it all functions and works through the place. So that will be, it's actually, it's actually really cool to see it all come to life. Actually, it was one, I think it was my favorite bit was jumping into live mode and seeing all the Sims take their beds, using the cafeteria, using the ping pong table, you know, going to study, like it all comes to life. And I think it actually feels, that's something I think I really like about the dorms. I guess it probably in all the Sims games about the dorms is they feel really lively because there's just so many Sims there. They're all living their lives. It is working, which is not something you can always say about the Sims is sometimes, you know, things kind of get a bit buggy, <clears throat> dying out. Um, but yeah, this, this so far seems to be really, really nice. But let's go ahead and jump into the game and have a look at the finished product. So here we are in the actual dorm. Now it's all running. <sighs> this woman's dancing in some trash i guess that's what happens in dorms so this is the layout basically you come up this way and you come into i guess the main lobby you got the mailbox just over here uh it's a little post oh university ah oh, scholarships okay no we're not doing that right now anyway lift is there come through this way into the cafeteria let's see you know get down low and you can see like i said the uh, sort of i guess chef or i guess vendor it says comes in here and you can order your food i believe it opens at 7 a.m and it closes at 11 p.m or something like that so you can get food most of the day. We've got another bin there just for aesthetics. And you can see people have been eating. But this, I actually really like this when you start running everything. Because you see all the stuff being used. You know, someone's homework is sitting there. There's a cake over here. Someone's, what is that? What are they eating over here? They've got pasta primavera. Prima, primavera? Sure. Let's go with that. And then the little bathroom in here. A couple of stalls. Some sinks. Just so, you know, pop in there. Come through this way. we got the common room. Wow, look. My sim is playing ping pong. Hell yeah. Well, it's not really my sim. It's just default sims. But anyway. So they can play a bit of ping pong there. we got the keg just this way. And then the main sitting area just through here. You know, you can imagine them all huddling around for movie night or something like that. Oh, off we go. Uh, so that is that area in there. Uh, actually, I really, I really like how this turned out. I'm actually so excited by this. This is just like a little hallway area and a little balcony out the back. Not really much to do out there. That's, I think, exactly the same as how it was built. I didn't change that. And then we've got the little study room here. You can see there's a couple of people in here on the computers. Uh, and then we got a little desk in there as well. So you could join. Off she goes. Oh, off to the bathroom. Uh, and then we got the library through this way. Oh, someone's been eating in here. Gross. And someone left their homework here. And also down there. <laughs> oh no, that's a book. Okay, fair enough. There's just so much junk everywhere. And then we've got the lab back through this way, which has like the robotics, which can come here and make all the stuff we need. Got a couple of the research stations just there as well. Uh, an easel as well, and a bookcase. And then moving upstairs, we just have all the dorms, which are all furnished together. Oh, look, someone's in there. Yeah, I actually really love that um, the beds just get assigned. You can see the... Wait, what was that? Walter Wyatt. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm actually kind of wondering how many people are in here. Okay, so all these dorms are completely filled. I'm wondering if they're all fully filled. No, that one is not. There's one there. Someone there as well. Okay. It's actually pretty good. Hang on. So is it just... There's three beds that are not filled. Yeah, so there's only three spare beds. That's actually pretty awesome. There's a bunch of people in here. Oh, play The Sims for five hours. Great. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, there's a note on the floor. I actually, I really love the dorms. There's, there's so much life that goes on here. I really, really enjoy it. But yeah, that is the a dorm renovation or I guess adjustment or whatever. The outside looks exactly the same. I really wanted to try and get like some sort of rooftop party area going on here. I didn't quite get it in. Ran out of time, but uh, would have been nice. I guess probably some stairs around the back. Maybe I'd have to push out this wall a bit, but... You could, like, throw some sweet parties up here, get some lasers and all that. Could be fun. I don't know. But that is the uh, build just... Oh, someone's having a nap out on the balcony. That is the build, and you can see it sort of blends in completely, like, seamlessly. If you even look at the other one, which is over this way... 
It's like the same thing. Oh, look, someone's running down there. It's, it's, it's like the same thing. You got that one there. It's just like a second story. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it fit in and feel natural. That's exactly what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to check it out, I will put it up on the gallery when I'm you know, allowed to do so when the game comes out. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And have an awesome day.